So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. And we are going to talk about Declan Rice and Urian Timber. Where are you? Let's be having you. What is the holdup? I don't understand it. Where's Delia? There she is. Where are you? Let's be having you. We need a 12th man here. <laughs> Where are our new signings? Why has this football club not announced them yet? We're going to get into all of this in a second. Uh, make sure you are smashing the like button. For the algorithm, do it. That would be great. Uh, make sure you are sub to the channel as well. Literally, still not on 85k yet. You lot are long in my life out as much as Arsenal are long in the transfer news out um, and the announcements. Uh, make sure you leave your comments and super chats down below. Do go and check out my Rumble account, uh, Lee Gunner. Uh, type it in. Arsenal fan content on there. Go and follow both. Follow Lee Gunner and follow Arsenal fan content. Um, it's a bit weird trying to get my head around it. I'm not used to using it, so but... Um, for now, it will just me be me uploading these videos on there um, for now. And then I can, once I get a bit of a following on there and a bit of traction on there, I can spin it to real life issues. And everybody knows I like to spit the truth. Um, and I am controversial, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, if you are a snowflake, don't bother. Uh, if you're not a snowflake and you actually like real talk, go and follow me on Rumble. Uh, but anyway, uh, do also check out the second channel. Um, that is literally millimetres from 9, 18K now. Just dropped a video about Deli Ali. Um, he's done an interview with Gary Neville, 45 minutes talking about his life, rehab, um, depression, mental health, taking sleeping tablets, drinking, partying, and where he goes from here. So I've done my reaction to that. And again, as you know, I'm honest with what I say. I say what I think. And uh, yeah, go and check that out on the second channel, Lee Reacts. But anyway, uh, as I record this video, at half past three Spanish time, we still have no announcement from this football club about Urian Timber or Declan Rice. It's been over a week, eight, nine days since we've um, agreed the fees and everything's being done. Apparently they've had their medicals and all of this stuff. And um, why have we not announced them? It makes no sense. Yeah, and there's a lot of people, including myself, listen, we know the players are the Arsenal players, but Arsenal have just sucked all the joy out of the transfer for both of these players. Why didn't it take this long to do Kai Havertz and announce Kai Havertz? Why did why did we get that done real quick inside less than a week from when we when we bid to when he's unveiled, boom, done. And we're sat here and I know some people are saying, oh, it's a big transfer fee. Before. It's still the same principle, it's still the same premise. You still have to sign the paperwork, you still have to get the lawyers to do it, you still have to get the contract done, you still have to get the medical done, we have to arrange the payment schedule, etc., etc. Doesn't matter whether it's 1 million or 101 million, it's still the same kind of idea. And it's always the way with Arsenal, really. Right? When it comes down to big players or big signings or big fees, we just take an eternity to, to drop the news. When Nicola Pepe signed, it took about three weeks. Like, why? We know there are players. Give the fans a buzz, give the fans a joy, give, give the fans, like, yes, we can now finally breathe. He's in an Arsenal shirt. But there's a lot of people that are growing ever frustrated with this. And, and I get it. At the end of the day, you know, they've gone out there, they've done the graph, they've put got three players, but they've only announced one. And yes, everyone's impatient. I get that. But it does kill the enjoyment for a lot of people. And it does it does also, like, oh, well, yeah, it don't matter anymore. We knew he was our player kind of thing, where it, was, it should be a massive buzz. You know, he's a 105 million quid footballer. He's our most expensive player of, in our history. Yeah, that, that should be, boom, job done. Now on pre-season, we've got a game tonight against Nuremberg, um, 6 o'clock UK time, uh, which leads me on very quickly. Um, they are charging to watch these games now. And this is a thing I noticed with all these football clubs about a year or two ago. They started charging to watch pre-season games. Like, as if they don't fleece the fans anymore. Like, it, like more than enough already. They decide, you know what? Yeah, we're going to charge five quid for this game or six quid for this game. But if you want to buy the whole package for the four preseason games, this one and three in America, it's fifteen ninety nine. But it's not available in Germany and it's not available in France, which again makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, I will not be paying for it. I probably won't be watching them. And um, good luck to the lads to get their fitness up. Well done. Um, but just coming back to these deals, why has Timber not been announced at the very least? You know, Declan Rice call, maybe they want to do something more, more important because he is the record signing. But Timber's 30-odd million quid. 
Why have we not announced this? There was a load of talk that he was going to be in Germany on the tour. Well, well I say the tour on the match day, uh, which he isn't. Unless he's got there just now. When I checked a minute ago, he weren't there. So I don't understand why we long this out. Like The photo shoot probably would have already been done. The contracts have probably already been signed. Everything's done and dusted. Announce it to the millions of people around the world waiting for this. Right? It's been eight, nine days since we've agreed a fee. Right? And everything's been slowly, you know, apparently had his medical last week. Why haven't we announced it? If it was deadline day, they would have done it, wouldn't they? Yeah, if it was deadline day, we get the fee agreed. He would have been announced that night. Like, so they can do it. They're just choosing to long it out. And for me, it makes no sense. Um, but it is what it is. Um, they are done deals. We know there are players. It's just, you know, all the hype around it slowly disappearing, disintegrating because they are longing this out. And they do it time and time and time again. When I see other clubs, they get their player, medical done, bang. This is our player. Why do we do it different? I don't, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, but um, they are done. Uh, hopefully, we will get these announced at some point today or tomorrow. Um, but anyway, uh, Ben Jacobs was speaking earlier today and said that um, he still expects Arsenal to be busy in the transfer window. Um, and we do need more players. Yeah, we, we definitely need more players. Yeah, I think that's evident. Like, we can't just be going with what we've got. We're going to be getting rid of a few. Lukonga, I'd imagine, will be going. Tavaj will be going. There'll be a few more going out the door. We need a striker. Balogun could be going. Eddie could be going. One or the other, maybe both. We need a striker. And we must go and get a striker this window that can bag 20 goals. Yeah, because we can't be relying on what we've got already. We haven't got a 20-goal-a-season striker. So we need that plus the three or four other players chipping in with double digits. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, you're you're a lot better and you might actually bridge the gap between us and City. Yeah, I also think that we need another midfielder, regardless of whether party goes. Yeah, and if he does go, we need two. I still think we need another winger, but unfortunately, I don't think we'll be getting another winger um, because we signed Reese Nelson up to a new deal. But I still think we need to do a lot of work. And it's great that we're going to announce Rice and Timber whenever that may be. And it's cool that we've got Havertz, whatever, even though I don't rate him, well done, the club have gone and got their players quickly. But let's just not sit here and pretend, yeah? This is not a 10 out of 10 window. This is not an 8 out of 10 window. So far, so good. Yeah, let's just stick it out there. It has been good so far. But it is not enough to win the title. It is not. We need another two, three, four players. Yeah, and we need to get rid of some of these crap players because otherwise, what's going to happen again? We'll be sitting there next season. We'll get a couple of injuries again. And all of a sudden, the manager's looking around on the bench going, don't really fancy Fabio. Yeah, not really too keen on Tierney. Oh, yeah, I don't really know about Tommy. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we need proper players and we need a proper squad. Yeah, and I don't want to hear no excuses this season. Yeah, it's make or break. You've done 650 million. Go and do another 150. Make it 800. Now we've got a proper squad. Now win something. Yeah, because the, there is no excuses anyway. He's done the dough. He's got the players he wants. But for me personally, for us to win a title, we need three more players. We need a, a midfielder, a winger, and a striker. Yeah, and I know we can play Martinelli on both wings, Trossard both wings, Jesus can play on the wings. I get all of that. Reese can play there, Saka's there, whatever. But is Reese Nelson really the guy? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. The only reason we kept Reese Nelson is because it was cheaper to keep him than buy a proper winger. That's it. Yeah, I'll be a hamper sackers. Shut up about hampering sackers development. And at the end of the day, you don't see you don't see Man City fans sitting there going, "Oh well, if Myers is playing, it's hampering Phil Foden's development." Nobody's crying about that, are they? Oh, Grealish is hampering Foden. Like you don't see that. You need a squad of players, and unfortunately for us right now, our squad ain't good enough. Yeah, it's a good squad, but it ain't good enough. Yeah, which is why we need more players. And unfortunately, I don't think we are going to go and do what I want them to do. Um, everyone will be hyped anyway. We'll um, we'll not win the league. We won't win the Champions League. And if we finished in the top four again, everyone's happy. Round and round and round and round we go. And unfortunately, that is where we're at with this fan base. This is where we're at with this club. They're the nearly club. We're nearly great. Yeah, but they don't just go over the hurdle. They, they get to the hurdle and then fall. Yeah, and it's like, I really hope that they're going to turn the corner this summer. Because this summer, they could literally go out there, get rid of a couple of the other players, recoup some of the money in, that now gives you a pop to go and buy a striker. Go and buy Ivan Tony. Bid for Harry Kane. Bid for him. Even if you don't get him, at least bid. At least have a go. 
you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, we're the nearly club, and nearly ain't good enough. So it's gonna be it's gonna be peak this season. Listen, hopefully we do go and win something, but I don't see us winning the title, and I don't see us winning the Champions League. So that means the domestic cups and the super fan channel owner, uh, who's an absolute disgrace, um, telling the world that the uh, the League Cup is beneath us. So that's one cup that we're not going to win because it's beneath Arsenal anyway. So that leaves the FA Cup. We're currently on the longest trophy drought in a decade. Mad when you think about it, isn't it? Longest trophy drought in a decade. Over three years without a trophy. Mad. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and feelings, people. Um, why has Declan Rice and Murian Timber not been announced yet? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, what else do you think we need? What areas? What players? List it all in the comments. Put your super chats in. Uh, do go and check out Rumble. And um, do go and check out the Deli Ali video on the second channel, Lee Reacts. Um, but yeah. I'll be back again tomorrow. No doubt, as soon as I drop this video, they'll announce one of these players. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. But as I'm recording this, they haven't announced anything. Yeah, let's have one more quick check on the Arsenal website. Nope, nothing. Nada. Nope. Uh, ticket and information for Arsenal Tottenham, um, which will take place on Sunday, 24th of September. New ballot system for Arsenal members. Um, to ensure fairness and equal opportunity, tickets for home Premier League fixtures will be sold via a ballot system exclusively for Arsenal members. For each match, members have a designated window in which to register either individually or as a group, provided that all members in that group meet necessary requirements for the relevant ballot. Timing doesn't matter when it comes to entering our ballots. Whether you are early bird or last minute entering, your chance of winning remains the same. The only crucial factor is that you submit your entry whilst the window is open so um the ballot opens 4th of all uh 4th of august for silver members that's actually mad i can't lie a ballot system wow uh, a ballot system for tickets why it should be first come first serve not a ballot yeah if you've got a silver membership yeah you can get tickets two months in advance that's how it should be because you've had that silver membership and you've got to that point of having a silver membership. Right. Anyway, I'm not going to sit and moan about it. Um, it is what it is. Have a blessed day, people. Uh, 